It was at this moment that he knew. Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back. We're so happy that you're here with us today. Yesterday afternoon I was wearing the hello and good morning everyone shirt. Got a couple messages. People like you need to bring that shirt back. That is a favorite. It is definitely a favorite. Don't you worry. We have other shirts coming in today. Getting the kids up and ready for school. Today is a free dress day. The kids always love that. The school does this really awesome thing. If you donate a dollar you get to wear whatever you want and you don't have to wear your uniform. They have it built into the first Wednesday of every month. You can take a dollar and wear whatever you want. It's not mandatory, but our kids, of course, always opt to do that. Crew was really sad today that they couldn't bring an extra dollar and wear a hat. That's something that they do from time to time where the kids can just bring an extra buck, wear their favorite hat all day at school. They are not doing that today, though. So kids just get to wear their handsome haircuts. Kirby, do you want to show us what you've gone with today, my friend? So I have a Nike box making a sand castle, some Nike pants, and then Nike shoes. Your Nike dunks. Hey, those shoes are not just any shoe. Those are the shoe that you ran your 5K in. Oh, wait, wait. Oh yeah. Yeah, these ones are awesome. <laughs> Rye guy, what are you wearing today? Pink sweatshirt, gray pants, and... Ooh, oh gold yeah, gold rocking that gold merch. You look so handsome, buddy. Thank you. And this princess comes from running around the corner. She had this shirt last summer tucked away in her drawer. I don't even know how she remembered it, but this morning she goes, Mom, I really want to wear that pineapple shirt with sunglasses. Took me a minute to figure out what she's talking about because we haven't worn this shirt in like a year. Put her in some cute little mom jeans that are these really cute pants, cute shirt. She's got to get some shoes on still, but we decided to do a ponytail with a braid in this cute bow. You look amazing. All the other kids ready, but I wanted to show you what Brexy is wearing. He loves this champion outfit, so he's wearing this. But underneath it, show him your shirt. Underneath it, he wanted to wear this NASA shirt. He told me last night, before I even put him all the way in bed, he goes, Mom, tomorrow I want to wear my NASA shirt and sweatpants and a sweatshirt. He's already got this all planned out. I feel like you should be wearing Star Wars shirts. Happy May 4th, everyone. May the 4th be with you. Force, 4th. <laughs> Today is the Star Wars day and none of my kids are wearing Star Wars. Feel like we might be doing this wrong. Also feel like that was super awesome of the school to have the free dress day today on Star Wars day. You look super handsome. I think everyone's ready. We probably better pray and get ready for school. Wait, 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 wait. I forgot this was happening. Ryler, tell them, okay, today the kids are doing dare jars. They mm -hmm. have been walking around with jars all around the school, yep. raising money. Okay, so tell us the process. Like, did you get enough money in your jar and what's yeah. your dare? What you have to do is like you hold around your jar and then people donate. I got my goal, sadly. What was your goal? Goal was 60 bucks. It wasn't that bad, but um, I have to eat a blended up Happy Meal. You guys, Ryler is going to be eating a blended Happy Meal. <laughs> he, oh my gosh, ew, yeah. this all sounds terrible. Stuff that kids will do to raise raise money yeah. and have some school spirits. Blended up Happy Meal, folks. I might try and see if I can come watch. You should. He just went and grabbed his toothbrush and toothpaste. He's like, mm -hmm. if I throw up, I need my toothbrush and yeah. toothpaste. Ugh. If we can get to the school, we have time to get there. I will definitely video this because I cannot believe it. This yeah. kid has kind of offered to do that, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, oh my gosh, much. you're disgusting. Come back later for that. <laughs> What up? Good morning. I missed out on this morning's routine. Probably didn't even notice I wasn't there, although the decibel level was a little lower this morning, so maybe you did. It is another wet, yucky, cold, gloomy day outside. The moisture is much needed and appreciated. It's going to make for an epic summer. Be able to run those water parks at full send speed. So, counting our blessings on that one. Also, the eye doing better today. Continuing to give it the drops. Hopefully, it's not grossing anybody out today. Mom was kind enough to let me get a couple of extra hours of sleep this morning. I was up until 3 o'clock this morning putting together the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruise full-length feature film movie posted it as a bonus video for you guys in addition to the normal vlog I wanted to make sure you got the normal vlog hotness my plan was to release that movie sometime in the summer on a Sunday as a bonus video but then I thought last night there's just no better time than on Star Wars Day May the 4th be with you got to work put it together and I wanted it to go up at 5 25 a.m. taking it to that next level of nerd because the first ever Star Wars film debuted and premiered in theaters on May 25th or 5 25 
die. Nerd alert! I bet nobody in the world even noticed, but those little subtle Easter eggs I think are some of the fun parts of just nerd culture in general, whether it's video games, movies, hiding those fun little details. So released at 525 this morning, and it is our full-length film, the entire trip to Disney World. So there's also a few days at Disney World and our two days on the Galactic Star Cruiser in commemoration, honor, and celebration of Star Wars Day. <laughs> Attention all passengers, please like and subscribe. Innocent! What did you do? I don't know. This is insane! Woo! So may the fourth be with you, always. And go check out that out of this world adventure. I'll put a link to it in the description in case you missed that at 5.30 a.m. 525. Sorry, my mouth is full of barf. Okay, <laughs> Briar's is about to be full of it because oh. I just found out that he is going to be eating a Happy Meal from McDonald's. It's gonna make anybody throw up. I actually like Happy Meals. But here's the caveat, the twist on this whole thing. Oh. It's all in a blender. Cheeseburger or nuggets, I don't know what he's going with. French fries, I think mixed no, together with the drink. No, he said cheeseburger without onions and he wants Sprite to be the base. Guys, that's disgusting. So disgusting. disgusting. So he's doing it to raise money. So he raised 60 bucks, they do like a dare jar and in his dare jar, he would oh. complete the dare oh. of eating a blended Happy Meal. All all things from the Happy Meal, put into a blender, oh blend it up into a smoothie, chug down hard. I don't think he has to chug it. He has to chug If it, it touches his lips, he's gonna throw up. I think it's done in front of the whole school, in front of the student body, whole in front school. Of all of the junior high. Unbelievable. We're gonna run to the school right now. See if we can catch this, you guys. This is a moment that we can't miss. I have to see how it goes down. I heard he brought a toothbrush and toothpaste on the off chance. He, he did. does throw up. He is up. totally my kid. I love that he's thinking about the hygiene and that he wants to clean his mouth and get that taste out. Hope that he can hold yeah, it down, hold great. it together. Stepping up to the plate and owning up to your dare. That's what should be remembered about this moment. We're gonna go see if we can catch it. We also have a meeting at the house, we're going through with the electrician. Is that the deal? Yes, it's gonna be so cool. Where we put outlets, where everything goes. So we're meeting there with a couple people, and that is at one. The event that Rye Guy's doing is like at 12:30. So I'm just hoping we can be there for it. We may have to jet though. And ask somebody else to video it for us so that we can relive it through that because yeah. can't miss this. No. Rye Guy, getting ready to throw down, bro. Are you actually going to eat a blended so. happy meal? I don't Dude. Want to. Dude. I gotta tell you right now, they brought out three garbage cans yep. in case you lose it, dude. Yep. In front of the school, bro, can you hear the noise? The school's ready. Yeah, I have scared. had no less than a five people come up to me and say, are you here to watch Ryler? You Drink a happy, happy meal. Come in. I was hoping maybe this was all just a joke, bro, but it's going down. You're really doing it, dude. Okay. <laughs> Right guy, fresh off of chugging a Happy Meal. First of all, mad props for stepping up and owning your dare and your challenge and doing it in front of everybody. I don't think you got much down there. It was like, <laughs> like a chunky. Dude, when they poured it out, the entire crowd was like, was like ooh. Very chunky smoothie. Yeah, with chicken nuggets. Chunky. I still feel like I'm gonna throw up. I French will. fries, you might, dude. Bro, I'm actually glad it's not in your system. That's not actually in your body. It's in the garbage can and I'm proud of you for doing it. I love that you. That sucked. Are you gonna sign up for dare draws next year? Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're such a savage. <laughs> The whole Look at that. Mm, delicious. Is this, stuff, this is just. 
disgusting. Scrumptious. So wait, bro, is this before you ate it or after? Because I can't tell it looks the same. Same. <laughs> that is so gross. I can tell you I definitely won't be eating any barfies right now. Barfies, Mindy, you went straight for that. I was going to say any Happy Meals. It's a long time before I eat a <laughs> Right? I brought over the blender and I sniffed it. And uh, Why would you do that? Because I was super curious what that would be like to have a cup of it coming towards your mouth. A lot of that whole gag reflex thing is in the smell as, as you're about to have it. So a lot of times stuff that's hard to eat might not even Gross. taste that bad, but as you smell Gross. it, it triggers that. Anyway, I almost lost it from the smell. I was watching and I was videoing with my phone, but I was doing this. <laughs> Stephanie was there and she said, I, I didn't see it. I really wanted to, but I, I couldn't look. Like, I just couldn't look. I'm sorry if any of you were disturbed by that. It was just too monumental to not document. I can't believe he did it's it. Stepped so up in front of the student fun. body. Did it for a good cause. Raising some money. Had a bunch of other fun dares they going down. So many Someone had their legs waxed. <laughs> yep. Like, teenage boy had his legs waxed. <laughs> Two teachers saying a whole new world. Like a duet body. to each other. I they had the entire student body rolling. It's you and me. <laughs> for a good cause. And they, they raised some every money. Every Wednesday they do these fun junior high competitions. They ate some called. super crazy hot peppers with like hot ghost pepper sauce on it. Kids eyes were like. The funny thing is that they know that it could go bad so there are trash cans everywhere. everywhere. Just in case. Rag guy definitely needed his. I think one that came out of the blender and the chunks fell into the cup and the whole student body was like oh. That's when I was like oh buddy is it possible to back out? Can you back out? I think be a mental game. Would be for me. But I'm proud of him for not backing out. He could have. I guess he probably could have said no I'm not going to do it but he's like I said I would so I'm going to try. And despite the fact that he couldn't keep one swig in his mouth, one bite, whatever you want to call that, he kept going until the cup was gone. I'm like, dude, if it was me, I'm just dumping the cup in the garbage, raising it up me and like, I finished. He was a <laughs> But sport. he kept trying. Got to see the whole thing. It was fantastic. We are now at our house meeting. This is electrical that we're going to be going over. We were supposed to do it at the house. On site, kind of walking around looking at stuff, but it's raining, it's cold, so we're going to do it here at our builder's office. Not as exciting to video, but we're going to go in, figure out where all the electricity is going to go, and then we're going to go electrify the rest of the stay. This house is going to be so lit. <laughs> oh my gosh. come to the house after that lighting meeting, which actually was pretty cool, pretty eventful, pretty exciting, cause found out just all of the can lights are gonna be all through the house. The lighting package, by the way, is probably our like hidden secret favorite part of the home. It was a total surprise. We didn't actually physically see any of the lights. Our designer just was like, hey, here's your lighting package. Fun stuff in every single room. Just absolutely wowed us. I didn't think I'd be excited about the lighting. Seeing that kind of come to life, we came back out to the house, go over some other things, got the plumbing people. So we're walking through the house, looking at some of that. It reminded me that we did not come earlier this week when a big thing went down. We have all of the cat Cabinets, islands, countertops, everything spray painted out in the home. There are actual physical plans hung up on every floor. So every floor has a set of plans of where everything's gonna go. You can actually physically see those things. I think we already showed you the fireplaces are all framed out, bedroom here and in the basement. Lots of progress being made. And right now they're putting, I don't really know any of the technical terms, but they're putting on the roof before the roof. <laughs> so whatever that waterproof coating is before you actually get shingles on the roof, they're doing that right now. I was making this joke earlier today, but it feels like, and we have been told this, that as soon as the framing was done, they just hit the accelerator. We have so many different people working here, so many different contractors doing so many different things all at the same time. And they said, you watch, the next part is going to fly. We are back home now, reunited with the kids back in the house. But as we were leaving the house, there is a flurry of activity. I do like saying flurry of activity. I don't know why, it just sounds like a really fun way to talk about activity. Plus, we had flurries today. We had plumbing guy on site. He had met with electrical, was supposed to be on site. We ended up doing it at our builder's office, but that would have been another person there. Roofers on the roof, HVAC show up and walk through the house. And Nicole, our designer. And our designer was there. Plus, the guy hauling out a dumpster and dropping off a new one. I know it's not part of house progress, but it was just so much going on. It just feels like we are in fast forward right now, getting things done. They're spray painting stuff on the wall, measuring 
ordering things, just getting ready to go full bore. Yes, and next week we're gonna have so many people at the house every day that they actually have to bring in a second porta potty. <laughs> Guys, that's legit. That is the real deal. Lots going down on the house. Speaking of things going down, one thing that did not go down is a Happy Meal smoothie. How you feeling, bro? Good. Home now. Been home for a while. Great. Have you had any follow up from today's Happy Smoothie? No, I have not. What are you working on? Homework, schoolwork? Yep, Photoshop. Any of your friends say anything to you after? Yeah, Maybe? they're like, good job. You did try, dude. Yeah. I was saying this earlier. I probably would have been like, no, I'm good. I'm gonna tap out. I don't yeah. think I want to do this now. So and you followed through, man. You did it. I was big time. Yeah. Only a few people did dares too. Like mm -hmm. in the whole school, like six people did dares that weren't yeah. teachers, and you were one of them. That's pretty rad, dude. Yeah. Good job raising the money. And good job owning up to your dare. And I don't think you're gonna be having a happy so, anytime soon. Yeah. We gotta take this vlog on a sweet treat detour because we've done enough with the blended Happy Meal. Mom, baking up some of our personal favorites, the homemade Oreo. Is it called the homemade Oreo? It is the homemade Oreo. It's not my recipe. It's not it hers. It's on our vlog. It is made it, ate it, loved it, Scarlett's recipe, and it is a banger. It is a crowd the pleaser. The that you know that because I can be talking about someone who goes, what was their name again? I That's forget a lot of- on a first name right now. <laughs> yeah, well, she is to be credited for most of the delicious meals that come out of our house. So she really is. These ones though, major crowd pleaser, and we are going to be pleasing a crowd them tonight because we've got a little neighborhood get together, a little fundraiser for some of the young women and they are going to be doing a bake sale. And mom is going to provide these Oreos to be sold at auction. Just kidding. They just like have a price and then you sell them. All the money and proceeds go to the young women in the, in the neighborhood here. So that's cool. And we get some delicious ones because mom decided to do a double the batch. A double batch. And so I we'll... almost broke my Bosch doing it. That is a lot. Look, we've got all of these right here. Look at all of these over here already getting ready to be frosted. All of these plus the oven is full of them right now. So mom has been nonstop baking cookies and she's got to go through and frost all of them. Could I request a double frost? Thing on mine. Do you want the mega stuff? The mega stuff, yes, max stuff on mine, please. Okay, I'll do one like that. <laughs> We got a tray in each oven, double oven it. Mom, yeah. baking up a storm here. Take a nice sweet treat finish. No more blended Happy Meal And talk. I started the day with a barfy, but we're gonna end it with Oh my sweet. gosh, there's a lot of barf in today. I'm sorry, we're sorry. sorry about I really am sorry, but I was like, you can't not share that. That was incredible. I know. Mom's gonna continue baking up a storm here. Looks like the storm has left, which is kind of nice. Sun's the sun has come out. out. Hopefully we've got some better weather coming because I cannot believe that the kids are nearly out of school. It doesn't feel like it, but it's well, happening. because it's still snowing. Ready or not, <laughs> it's snowing. We love you, thanks for hanging. We've had so much fun hanging out with you today, so make sure you come back tomorrow. We love you. Good night, everybody. See you later.